Flamor, the flying imposter, who is powerful enough to stop the airship, but he is hiding a dark secret, and I need your help to solve this mystery. So to summon Flamor, we must first understand his story. So according to the legend, there was once a crewmate named Fly, who loved bugs. He helped conduct studies while his time on the fungal. He would spend his time outside looking at bugs. Yeah, it's disgusting, but he loved flies. And tragedy soon struck. One of the flies was radioactive. Fly, being the curious crewmate that he is, decided to do studies as to why it looked like that. But he was not paying attention, and the fly bit him. That is when everything changed. Fly felt different and completely passed out on the floor. Fly woke up from his long slumber and got up, but that is when he realized he was flying. Kronos saw this all happen and decided to give Fly a new name, something more scary. His name was now Flamor, the evil within grew as the days went by. Now Flamor flies around the airship looking for crewmates who he can change into flies. So drop a like to show respect. I want to find Flamor with your help. To begin the summon, I went to the fungal to see if he was hiding here. He used to work in this garden and laboratory. Maybe there's a clue. Oh look, there is a fly on the counter. How did I not see that? Fly did love bugs. Maybe he left this here for us to find. Wait a second, the fly is moving and it seems to be wanting to fly away. The only logical thing to do is to follow it, right? The fly left the greenhouse and I was following it. It just seems to be going all over the place. I finally lost it, but I was in the meeting room, and I stepped outside and I couldn't find the fly anymore. The fly is tiny, I wonder where it went. Maybe if I go to the top of the fungal, I can spot the fly much easier. This fly can lead us towards our next clue, to find Flamor. I took a look through the binoculars, it was going to be much easier to look everywhere, and I did manage to find the fly. But as you guys can see, the fly was right next to the trash can. I mean, flies do like garbage, right? I went down there and the fly was right next to the trash can, but it wasn't doing anything. Hey fly, where can I find Flamor? I then heard a bunch of buzzing. What is that sound? It sounded louder and louder, so I took a look outside. Maybe it's some sort of plane. But no, I saw a creature. This creature was really big, and I've never seen it before. This looks like a fly. Could this be Flamor? I didn't even know creatures like these existed on the fungal, but it makes perfect sense. The fly left. That was definitely Flamor. Even though I saw Flamor, I needed to find more answers. I looked at the trash can for another clue, but there was nothing. Maybe if I go back to the top of the fungal, I could spot Flamor flying. Maybe doing a secret mission for Chrono. Since we all know how sneaky Chrono can be. Look up at the sky, I think I see something. I saw Flamor flying in the background. He seems to be looking for something or someone. Now I'm starting to get really scared. What if Flamor goes after me or one of the crewmates? I'd rather it be me though. Maybe if I look through the binoculars, I can find more clues. I'm looking at the kitchen and I did see a fly there. Maybe the fly got hungry and decided to get some food. This fly has actually been pretty helpful, but I took my words back. I was talking to the fly in the kitchen and it just wasn't listening to me, but I don't think flies even speak English. Alright, what if I go buzz, buzz, buzz? Alright, the fly told me that Flamor is looking for crewmates. And that he might have gotten one just now. That is when I heard buzzing outside of the dock. Where is that noise coming from? Maybe it's coming from the beach. That can't be a good thing. Crewmates have a nice time at the beach. And I can't allow Flamor to take them away. That is when I went there. And I saw Flamor taking a crewmate away. 
I was too late. Flamore, you better stop that now. And leave that poor crewmate alone. We don't want to be turned into flies. We want to be crewmates. But Flamore did not care. He left. Okay, this is time to panic. One crewmate is now gone and it was all my fault. I need to find a way to rescue them. But how am I gonna do this when I'm the imposter and all I have is my hands? I went to the top of the fungal, maybe I can find something there. And sure thing, I did. I saw another crewmate get taken away by Flamor. Flamor, you're making me really mad. Leave that crewmate alone or else I'm gonna go find help. But Flamor told me that he's going to build the greatest fly that has ever lived. You know what, Flamor? You are hideous. Nobody wants to be like you. I will save those poor crewmates, okay? I was told that I could find more clues on the airship. I was talking to the fly at the viewing deck, and they told me that Flamor hides the crewmates here. So it's up to us to find them and hopefully release them. But wait a second, what is that noise? It seems to be coming from behind me. I turned around and I saw Flamore. Flamore was carrying the crewmate I saw earlier. Flamore is just rubbing it on my face. I don't think I've encountered an imposter this evil. The rumors are true about you, Flamore. You do get more evil over time. Flamore left, but as you guys can see, there are many casualties on the airship. It seems like Flamore was a little busy here, which isn't a good thing because I thought I was only gonna save two crewmates. Flamore was outside of the airship, and as you guys can see again, he had more crewmates with him. Flamore, where are you going? I thought you were hiding the crewmates here, but you seem to be just carrying them around everywhere. Maybe this is how he turns them into flies, which isn't a good thing. I have to go outside and hopefully get my hands on Flamore. I was now flying outside with my spaceship, and hopefully I am fast enough to catch up to Flamore. We all know how fast flies can be. Flamore appeared right in front of me with this crewmate. I kept chasing him, but as you guys can see, Flamore is really fast. I don't know how I'm going to take down this imposter, and I don't even know if I have enough fuel to get to him. I should have thought things through. Flamore was getting further and further away from me. I am really gonna need some backup if I want to take Flamore down. I'm thinking of ideas. That is when I heard the sound of a plane. Oh, uh, don't tell me that's who I think it is. It was Captain. Captain appeared out of nowhere and started chasing Flamore. I didn't expect Captain to be the one to help me, but maybe they have problems. Captain eventually made it towards Flamore and took him down. Where did they go? If you want to know what happens next, like and subscribe. And check out these other stories.